Hi everyone. Today's video is on your health and naturopathic medicine. As a newbie to this discipline of healthcare, I have so much to learn, but I found four important aspects that I think you'll find intriguing as well. And stick around to the end because we're going to get some hands-on with some tools of the trade. But first, you're watching Fun to Know with Carol. I'm Carol, here with quick weekly videos that help interesting people like you connect with your curiosity. Now, on with the show. I chose this topic this week because, as I mentioned, I'm a newbie to naturopathic medicine, but I also have an inside track. The practitioner who's going to be sharing with us today is Dr. Zoe Wells Zawalik, who is a naturopathic doctor in Pismo Beach, California, and I am her office assistant. I know that many of you are exploring integrating your health care with your various practitioners and providers, and I know the information Dr. Zoe will share with us will help in that regard. And to get started, I asked some of my friends what comes to mind when I use the phrase naturopathic medicine, and here are their responses. You can see it ranges all the way from, I don't know what it is, to very experiential or hands-on. So let's meet Dr. Zoe and start exploring naturopathic medicine. Dr. Zoe, tell us a bit about your background. Great. So I've been practicing for 24 years in um, California, and I went to medical school in Oregon, in Portland, Oregon. And before that, I had my um, bachelor's in psychology with high honors from University of California. Um, I went on and did my pre-med coursework. Uh, and I worked in public health. And then I decided I wanted to get into naturopathic medicine. And um, I did not know about it when I was in my undergraduate work. I had planned to go on and become, um, get my PhD in psychology. But then I learned as I traveled and lived in different places, I learned about naturopathic medicine and how it brought together all these disciplines that I believed in but didn't know were represented in any one field. And that is how the body works together as a whole, um, looking at our, how our mind affects our body um, and how we can have physical symptoms that re are related to the rest of our life, where we're living, stress, of course, um, how we're eating, and our genetics. So I really liked seeing a discipline that incorporated all of that. So I decided to do family practice which is what we're trained as, as primary general family practice doctors. So is it important for someone to look for someone who has been licensed? Well, yes and no. So um, colloquially we say naturopath, but legally there is a differentiation. So a naturopathic doctor is a doctor who's been to an accredited medical school and is licensed in their state. So I'm a naturopathic doctor. I'm also a naturopath because that's the type of medicine that I um, practice, but there are people that call themselves naturopaths that just, you know, know about nutrition and have taken an online class, but have no, have not gone to medical school and have no real medical background. And I think it's what you're looking for, right? If, if you're looking for a doctor that's going to be working with you um, in your health issues, then you'd want to see an accredited doctor. If you're looking for somebody more like a, a coach, there's a lot of health coaches now, you could see a naturopath. You know, if you're not looking for um, medical recommendations, so you're not talking about, you know, lab results or medications or any of that, then if you just want somebody with nutritional, you know, advice in that, um, then maybe seeing a naturopath would be all that you would need. You know, it really depends on what you're looking for from the, from the consult. How do you integrate with someone's primary care physician or someone needing labs? So it's just like any other um, healthcare provider that you're going to be working with. Just like if you go see your internist and then they refer you to your cardiologist. Um, your naturopathic doctor or physician is just going to be another part of your healthcare team. So as naturopathic doctors, we really focus on looking at the cause of disease. We don't want to just treat a symptom. We're not going to treat, just give you a cough suppressant for a cough. We're going to look at why do you have that cough. Do you have that cough because you've got a viral infection, because you have a bronch, because you have a bacterial infection, because you've got a sinus infection? Is it from reflux? So we're really going to look at 
do that whole differential about what's causing that and then treating it at that root cause. And that's really what makes us different. We're not um, pharmaceutically based, we're not surgery based. We're really looking at how is the body working, where is it not working correctly, and how do we improve and repair that function. And what are some of the tools that you use in your practice? Um, well, there's a couple different things I think that differentiate us. One, we typically spend a lot more time with patients. So we really believe in teaching our patients about their bodies, about their lab work. We're, we're working together as a team and we educate patients on the disease process, um, what the body is normally physiologically supposed to be doing, and where it's gone off track. Um, we also bring, looking at a whole person, uh, integrative perspective. So it's not just uh, someone comes in and their foot is, is sore and um, we're also gonna look at, well, how's that affecting your ankle and your knee and is your gait off? You know, are you starting to get pain in other parts of the body? We need to be looking at the whole person, all that's going on with them to be able to understand um, their health complaints. I'm sure you've seen a lot of issues in your years of practice. What are some of the more common ones that we might be able to relate to? So I've treated um, people for many different complaints. I used to see children. Now all those children I saw are older. So I, I see an older population these days, but you know, I see, I've seen from acute flu and bronchitis, or respiratory infections, to um, uh, helping someone working with their oncologist during cancer treatment, after they finish their cancer treatment, getting the body um, back into a healthy state because cancer treatments um, wreak havoc on the body. So how do we rebuild health and how do we prevent future cancers? I, in my practice, deal with a lot of endocrine issues, thyroid, hormones, women's health issues. Um, but I, I also you know, treat osteoporosis, asthma, allergies, so the whole gamut. Naturopathic medicine, the roots of naturopathic medicine, go back to our oldest medicine. And our oldest medicine had these same tenets. We've just gotten away from that as the pharmaceutical industry has grown. Now as we've learned what we can do with more uh, interventive procedures. And bottom line, if someone is looking to start with a naturopathic doctor, how do you recommend them going about finding a good one? Great question. So, uh, the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians, AANP, um, and it's uh, naturopathic.org. Um, that's a great place to start. Um, they, you can, um, to be a member, you have to have gone to an accredited medical school, you have to be licensed. Um, or if you're, you might be in a state um, that isn't licensed and you might hold a, a license in another state, maybe where you studied. They have um, naturopathic doctors all over the, the United States. So you can look by zip code and by area code. Um, also, you can look at any state's association. Um, in California here, we have um, the California Association of Naturopathic Doctors. And the reason I go back and forth between doctors and physicians is we're trained as primary care physicians. Um, in most states where we're licensed, we're licensed as physicians. In California, um, we were not allowed to use the term physician um, because of the California Medical Association. They um, would block our, and had blocked our licensing for um, tw over 20 years actually. Um, and finally would ag agree for us to get licensing if we did not call ourselves physicians, but only use the term doctor. So that's why I go back and forth between that term. But we are trained as primary care physicians. Well, that's interesting to know. I don't know that it would be fun to know. <laughs> but it's quite fascinating. Well, well, thank you so much. This has been uh, eye-opening for me and for other viewers, I'm sure, and I appreciate your time so thank much. You. Thank you. As a patient of a naturopathic doctor, you'll most likely leave your appointment with a treatment plan. The treatment plan can be either electronic or paper, and it includes very comprehensive notes about your consultation, along with recommendations and treatment related to food, exercise, perhaps a lab order will be included, and instructions for those labs. It's very thorough. 
Because naturopathy is focused on improving organ function, supplements are often used to help provide the building blocks for those organs to function optimally. They need to be the highest quality so that they're delivering the effects that we're looking for. So your naturopathic doctor can help you identify what quality supplements will be for your particular case. Tinctures, on the other hand, are more like food. The food we eat these days doesn't offer the same benefits as it used to when livestock ate differently and plants were grown differently. So a tincture will use herbs to target a specific benefit that the body needs to actually feed the body, whether it's regulating hormones or blood sugar or providing immune support. A naturopathic doctor like Dr. Zoe formulates the tincture and I get to prepare it for our patients. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, expanding your health horizon somewhat. If so, please hit the like button and share or subscribe if you haven't already. Just know that I do appreciate you and your desire to learn something that's fun to know. I'll be back next week with a completely different topic. In the meantime, take care and have a wonderful week ahead.